Hey, this is Matt Baker with TulsaWorld.com slash Sports Extra. I'm here with Barry Lewis talking about week three of high school football season. And Barry, let's let's take a look back first at that Jinx Union uh, 33-7 Trojans win. Did you expect it to be uh, that much of a, I don't want to say blowout, but did you expect it to be like that? Of course not. Backyard bowls are supposed to go down to the final seconds, but uh, Jinx was just... What a convincing victory for the Trojans, and they certainly look like the favorite now to win Class 6A. Certainly, and they've got a tough one this week, though, in Owasso. I like both of the defenses there. That was the most impressive thing to me about Jinx uh, on Friday, the way their defense held Kendall Holmes and, and Kill Pearson and that high-powered offense to only seven points. They got a pair of great defensive tackles. Ashton Henderson and Orion Jones, good linebacker and Trent Martin. Jinx's defense is good. And Owasso, don't overlook their defense. They held Muskogee and that Victor Williams, that great team, to only eight points the other day. Yeah, two years ago, Owasso's defense held Jinx to 14 points, so it'll be interesting if they can come up with that type of effort this Friday. Certainly. And Union's got a tough one, too, to bounce back. They've got B.A. this week. A very tough one for the Redskins, and it's a big opportunity for Broken Arrow to show that it belongs up there when it comes to state title talk with Union and Jinx. Uh, win for Broken Arrow would be huge for that program and Broken Arrow is the only team besides Jinx to have beaten Union since 2007 so it's going to be a big night in Broken Arrow. It's their home opener and I think it's a very important game. Probably more important for Broken Arrow than it is Union. Certainly. Okay. Well let's talk about some, some upsets. Who are you putting on upset watch this week? I'm not picking Edison to upset Kasha, but I think it'll be a lot closer than many people think. It's not going to be a blowout like last year's game was. I think Edison is much improved over last year, and uh, they could give Kasha Hall a scare. And what about Hall and Hall, Lincoln Christian? That one could go either way. I think any time a team can win at Lincoln, it's it would be a little bit of an upset, and I think I'll pick Holland Hall. I'll give them the slight edge after Lincoln's beaten them the last two years. Okay, three other quick games for you. Grove Wagner is one that I'm going to be going to. I'm really interested in. I want to see just how good Prince McJunkins is after, after a close game against Grove last year. Two, the Highway 97 rivalry. Sand Springs to is always good. I think Sand Springs has the edge. I like Derek Harger there at quarterback. And finally, Claremore Memorial should be a good one. I, I like Chase Talbert at, at uh, running back for Claremore. But Memorial, again, they're just coming off of a huge win over Edison. So that one should be a close one, but I, I think I'm going to take Claremore on that one. I think I'm going to take Memorial in a game that will go down to the very last play just as it did last year. Certainly. All right, well, it should be another good week of football, and we'll be here to break it down next week. Matt Baker with Barry Lewis. See you next time.